Hi you guys, I'm Molly with Design Loves Detail. Welcome to our channel. This is my husband, Ben. We share the best deals and finds for your home. And um, today we're excited to be sharing our new home theater, which is in our basement that we just finished. And this space is one of our favorites, so it's gonna be fun. Um, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of our next post too, because we're gonna be sharing even more spaces from our finished basement. If you guys remember when we toured through this space, um, kind of when it was unfinished, well, it was really dark for one thing, so we couldn't really see much. So it's it's probably one of the more exciting spaces to see because now there's light. And you don't have to use a flashlight anymore. <laughs> it was yeah, we had the phone light in here. It wasn't it wasn't the greatest footage for sure. So, um, but on that note, <clears throat> it has been a fun thing because we have kind of done it as a collaborative effort. I obviously had a lot of opinions on the design aspects, and he had a lot of opinions on the theater equipment and how it all functions and that sort of thing. So you want it to sound like a theater if you're building a theater. Yeah, it so. should be theater-esque, so. um, which is, I mean, I, I really wanted to make something that was a little bit different than your typical home theater because um, sometimes you see the same old seating and the same, you know, just dark walls. And I wanted something with a, you know, a saturated color, but that was still, um, still felt fresh and like my style, like the rest of our home. It's so, also not a huge room. If you think theater room, you generally yeah. think of a room bigger than the one we have for this space. It's true. So. Um, in fact, I will grab the dimensions and put them on here for you because um, it is good to remember that with even when you're working in a certain space, you can often really stretch it and make it um, usable and functional in, in ways you would never realize. It kind of stretches, I think, your imagination to use every every space. In fact, we have over here a really cool little built-in bench seating area that just kind of was some extra space that we could kind of capture for this room. It was- um, We pulled it in from the storage room that happens to be on the other side, actually. Yep. So. And so it's been awesome because it gave us extra seating there and I just think gives really cool detail and dimension to the room. So I've, I've loved that aspect. And, um, and of course, a big detail in here is the, the molding, the, um, the paneling and panel molding that we did. Um, kind of traditional, and I, I kind of like that there's that European undertone uh, kind of throughout the house, but you can really see it here in this space. And these sconces, oh my goodness, so cool, right? They look like, I feel like they kind of give it the real theater vibe. Theater vibe, yeah. And they can be dimmed, so you can like have them really low if you want a little bit of light when you're watching a movie. Uh, they're just such a beautiful detail. We've got six of them, so it kind of just is a nice little mirror image throughout. Yeah, a lot of different lighting options that we, we couldn't kind of settle on one lighting option, so there are actually uh, yeah. a few different lighting options. There's kind of rope lights up top, giving it that theater feel. Uh-huh, and the there's crown the, molding. Uh-huh, there's the sconces, uh, there's just the normal can lights so that you can have full light in here if you need to. Maybe too many maybe lighting options, feel, but, but- We like it. Maybe you can't have too many, so. Yeah, and I think sometimes too, a lot of the um, those little details aren't a huge expense, and so having, it, it gives a custom feel and makes it, you know, really that theater, um, atmosphere that you want. So I think another really important detail was bringing in a color that is is in line with the rest of the home but still has a little bit of saturation to it so that you have great theater viewing, it's not too bright, um, which bring in this tone, it's um, Piedmont Gray. It's from, a really cool color. Yeah, from Benjamin Moore. And I use this also in the cabinet in our main bathroom to kind of tie it in. I like to use paint colors um, and, and uh, you guys probably will uh, be keeping an eye out for our um, paint post, which is going to be sharing a lot more on painting details. But I like to tie in paint colors, um, kind of in a couple places in the home to to give it some cohesive vibes. Yes, you will. cohesive vibes. I will. <laughs> you will. Um, but I usually, when you see a theater room, you you know, like Molly was saying earlier, it's everything's kind of the same. So uh -huh. the fact that we did this this color, and I say we, when really it's her. <laughs> but um, makes it really cool. The detail of the walls and things like that obviously add a whole other level too. But um, the, the colors and, and everything are just totally different, but totally uh, fun to be in almost. So Yeah, yeah, it's a fun space. And then I did a little detail on the ceiling too. We brought in some um, just subtle stripe wallpaper so that this kind of square portion in the middle had a little bit of interest. And rather than do a screen, I guess maybe while we're talking about walls and painting, uh, we didn't do a screen. We did a we painted the wall, mm -hmm. and of course whatever uh, whatever space you need for the screen, you can paint the wall. Um, fun fact: you can actually 
just use regular flat white paint because that's exactly what they're selling as theater projector screen paint. Uh, talk to a, a paint rep and he said that's just kind of their way of marking it up is selling it as <laughs> theater paint. So apparently flat white paint is exactly what you would use yep. for a wall. That's what we use and it's great. So, so. Works really well. It's a good little tip. And then we framed out the screen, kind of keeping the same cohesive molding f feel um, to be the perfect custom size. And you probably know more about that with the projector. Um, yeah, you, when you go into a theater room, you always see you know, a, a real theater room, a projector hanging down from the ceiling. And you know, it doesn't necessarily look as great, especially for a, an interior designer. And so what we did was a short throw projector that can sit right in front and you know, still provide the same quality and the same you know, yeah. maybe, maybe better awesome. quality, I don't know, but, um, and not hang down in front where it's visible all the time, kind of blocking the view of the, of the beautiful room. So we want to give you guys a closer look at these really cool chairs. Um, these were the perfect fit for our space because they, you get a lot of bang for your buck kind of in terms of the, the shape of them. And we, like we said, we have a pretty small theater space. It's not huge yeah. in here. So this was honestly such a great find i think and um they're the greatest chairs ever <laughs> he's obsessed i love them i don't think anyone could love them more than me except him he falls asleep yes. in these like they're so comfortable and we weren't sure um you know until we tried them how amazing they really are yeah. they are made by room and board and they, ha they what's cool is they come in two sizes too because we have oddly enough the way that this room kind of laid out the more there's more space on yeah. one side than there is center on the aisle. other with the center aisle so. yeah center aisle isn't perfectly center um and so we they actually make these in the large size and then kind of a medium size and so that you can have a similar look but just um one that fits each side perfectly so that's been amazing and they swivel which is super fun our kids have been loving that they feature. spend plenty of time <laughs> swiveling and diving over the back and yeah. anything you can think of and you can fit um, two adults. We both can snuggle and or the kids, you can fit three. Our kids are pretty young, but they, three of them can fit on yes. the larger size and then two can fit on the smaller. Um, and the fabric options are amazing. They come in tons of different options. Yeah. I'm loving this. It's been really functional. The fabric too, it's um, durable or we're, our, you know, we have little kids. So we obviously have some house rules, but they are still busy and active. And plus, <laughs> plus the chairs look great. So yes, don't that, know that that was course. mentioned, but they look That's probably fantastic and they fit the room perfectly. Just, you know, there's, there's, we have four kids. I know we've mentioned that in other videos, but, um, four chairs actually works is more than enough seating. There seems to always be an uh -huh. extra seat, uh, when we watch movies as a family. So, uh, never really seems to be an issue because of the size of these chairs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they've been they've been so great, and that's true. What was what initially drew me to them was how pretty they are. So, a win on all fronts. Thank you for checking out our basement theater. Hopefully, you enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed sharing it with you. It's been a really fun uh, thing for our family, and we would love to have you subscribe and hit the bell so that you can be notified of our next tours and kind of follow along as we reveal more of our basement and some more ideas and deals for your home.